Hey guys, Josh here from Momentum Productions, and today we're going to be talking about setting gimbal parameters for the Juin Crane 3 Lab gimbal. These gimbal parameters will allow you to adjust how fast the gimbal moves and how smooth it dampens each movement. There are many different settings, ranging from the pan, tilt, and roll axis, and each axis has its own different set of parameters. So let's jump into the app and I'll show you exactly how it's done. Open up the ZY Play app and then connect to your gimbal. Once you've connected to your gimbal, you will be brought to the main screen. On the right side of the screen, press on the scene mode icon. Then scroll down and press on the custom option. Here we're presented with five different rows and three different columns. We have the tilt, roll, and pan, and we have the follow rate, control rate, smooth degrees, dead zone, and reverse control. Starting with the follow rate. This one is all about following your movement. So we can adjust the speed at how fast the gimbal follows our movement. For example, if we turn the gimbal to the right, the pan moves at a certain speed. So how do we adjust that speed? Well, that ties in to the follow rate. We can adjust this by simply pressing on the pan, roll, or tilt option, and you can adjust these numbers. The higher the number, the faster the gimbal will follow your movement. Next is the control rate. How fast should the gimbal move when you press the joystick? This is what the setting is all about, and you can adjust it for the pan, tilt, and roll axis. Simply tap on the option to change the parameter. You can scroll up or scroll down. The higher the number, the faster the gimbal will move when you press the joystick. Next is smooth degrees. How much do you want the gimbal to ease in and ease out of a shot? So as I pan to the right, you'll notice that the gimbal slowly starts to ease into the full speed of that pan. And as I stop panning, it will slowly ease out into a complete stop. So the smoothness degree will change that ease in and ease out. The higher the number, the more smoothness or dampening it will add to that. Next is dead zone. To what degree do you want to turn the gimbal in a certain direction in order for it to begin following your movement? So for example, when I pan to the right, I have to physically turn the gimbal to the right a certain amount of degrees in order for the motors to kick in and stabilize that movement. Same goes for the roll and for the tilt. You can adjust the setting by going up or down. The higher the number, the more you're going to have to physically move the gimbal in order for it to begin following your movements. And lastly, we have the reverse control option on all of the axes. When this is enabled, up becomes down and left becomes right when using the joystick. And that's how you set the gimbal parameters. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.